Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're talking about the first look at the season, the first look leaks. This is all coming from Canada Graphs. You can check out their blog in the description below, but also check out their Twitter. And on the blog, there is more photos for you guys to see. So I'll be showing a range of photos, about five to six photos in this video, but he's got more over there. So please be sure to check it out. And also he's got the full description of what he saw was actually filmed. We're going to talk about some of that description in today's video as well. So yeah, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first off we're going to talk about the filming notice and the scene they actually filmed yesterday. And so this is coming from Canada Graphs once again, you can see from the logo. He took this photo. Okay, so bits of it are taken out because, you know, the locations and stuff like that but place it says please take a moment to read this notice about the filming of the Warner Brothers TV series The Flash in the backyard of Blur on Thursday July 4th we are filming scenes of a family barbecue so that is the scene that they are filming or that they were filming so it's just a small little scene nothing too special but you know, it's our first look at the season, I think we should definitely talk about it. Also, he's got some more description as to what was actually filmed, rather than just the photos. So we got a bit of context as to what's going on. But we'll talk about some of the photos first, and then we'll go back to them after, when we're talking about it in regards to, you know, what's happening in the description. Okay, so the first photo, we see Grant on set as Barry, and we see Jesse L. Martin on set as Joe, and so they're walking together. You can tell by their attire, it's a very casual thing, the family barbecue, as it's described. So it's in someone's backyard, or it's in, you know, like a pub or somewhere like that, I would hazard the guess. We'll talk about the description and what specifically it says. But yeah, so Grant's hair's back to normal. It's not really short like it was at the end of last season when they actually when he actually shaved it off for the summer so yeah it's growing back rather fast actually kind of surprising but anyway so he's in sort of like a Hawaiian t-shirt he's got jeans Joe's wearing this nice hat and yeah so very very casual you can see in the next photo we've got Candace as Iris back on set she's wearing a hat she's wearing a floral summer dress and she's wearing normal shoes so again very very casual very very summery so I'm guessing maybe this might be, you know, in the summer, or it could potentially be in October, but I don't think it would be that sunny, so it could be a flashback. I'm a bit uncertain as to when it specifically is right now, just due to the fact that they are wearing a summer dress, they're, you know, having a barbecue. I don't know if Americans, because, you know, this is set in Central City, this is set in America, not in Vancouver where it actually gets cold in October so I'm not too sure as to you know the logistics of the sort of weather at that time so if they can have a barbecue because like if it was in England say which is pretty similar to Vancouver's weather you wouldn't be able to have a barbecue really and it wouldn't be very shiny and summery in October when the show comes back so I'm not too sure, leave your theories in the comments down below, do you think it's a flashback or something like that? But anyway, we get to see Camilla, so this was just when she was arriving at the set, so she's back and it seems like she's a series regular this year, which is, I guess, exciting. I maybe like one or two scenes from her last season. I wasn't overall too impressed, but I'm open to seeing more because we've got this photo right here, we've got Carlos Valdez back on set. As Cisco Ramon, Cisco is 100% confirmed to be in this season. This is super exciting because for a while there was those rumours that was going around saying that, oh, Carlos is definitely not coming back next season. He's not. He's leaving. That's why, you know, he had less time last season. But no, this proves it all wrong. And also the script leak we talked about the other day with Godspeed being in this episode, it seems like, yeah. That script is 100% on the point because it did say Cisco slash vibe, which is very interesting. And also there were some rumors about Cisco actually not being 
like the real Cisco being like a different version of Cisco. But I feel like because Camilla's there, this is our version of Cisco. So yeah, just very exciting to see Carlos actually back on set doing this and sort of proving everyone wrong, which is a very nice thing in my opinion. Okay, so just before we move on to the description of what Canada Grass was able to get from the filming, this episode is titled Into the Void. Just in case you guys didn't know and you missed my video the other day, we don't think there is any real significance to Into the Void apart from a link to perhaps the monitor because we know the monitor is going to be a big thing in the first part. He's definitely in the first episode and also the episode 2 title, A Flash of the Lightning, is a reference to Crisis and Into the Void sounds you know, kind of crisis-like and where the monitor was actually when he did that deal with Oliver back in the Elseworlds crossover. That's sort of like a the void of space. So that's what I relate it to. But anyway, let's move on to talk about what Canada Graphs was able to get from the shooting of episode one yesterday into the void. Okay, so this is how it starts. So the scene had Grant Gustin as Barry Allen, Jesse L. Martin as Joe West, Danielle Panabaker as Caitlin Snow, Candace Patton as Iris West Allen, Danielle Nicolette as Cecile Horton, Victoria Park as Camilla, and Big Drumwell, Carlos Valdez as Cisco Ramon. I don't know why I added that in because, you know, we've talked about that Carlos is back. But anyway, so yeah, Carlos is there. He's there as Cisco. So they're all shooting a scene that apparently takes place in a backyard. So yeah, as we presumed, a backyard. Or, you know, if it was in England, it could have been a pub. So that's why I said that earlier. But. Okay, so let's move on to the next paragraph. So, judging by the attire of those there, it seemed they were shooting a hanging out in the backyard, enjoying the day type of scene. The scene description of the film notice actually called it a family barbecue, as we said earlier. And the only thing Canada Graphs knows is the attire of what most were wearing, and that at some point I heard a classic flash air gun go off. Was Barry taken off to or returning from? A situation or did he just head off real quick to grab some steaks for the barbecue Barry Joe and Iris were in full summertime attire mode as Grant was wearing a Hawaiian shirt Jesse had on a casual shirt and Candice wearing a floral orange slash brown white pattern summer dress okay so let's break this bit down so the scene description like we said earlier it describes it as a family barbecue so the attire obviously matches that but talking about the flash classic air gun that actually goes off, I didn't know that they did this, so this is a new thing for me. But obviously, it seems most likely that he's either running into the scene, so say he got some stakes, as Canada Grass said, and then he flashes in, he runs in, and then that's when they shoot off the air gun, so that's where the scene starts. Or it could be, yeah, something bad has happened, you know, a crime has been committed, he has to run off. It's either or, I do believe. Okay, so let's move on to the next bit. So during one break and after they wrapped, apparently he had the chance to chat to some of the cast, some briefer than others, but mostly everyone seemed to be in a great mood. I asked Grant about his costume for the season. He confirmed there will be a chin strap slash cow for the army of haters out there for the season five suit. I asked him straight up if he was getting a new suit. He said, yeah, it's mostly the same though. Then I asked specifically about the chin strap slash cow situation and he said there will be one this year. I then told him how it was many people's largest complaint last year and he turned around in a really joking manner, waved his arms and said everyone's so petty. Jesse went on to say his back's all good. Also, Carlos was right about when he said to Canada Graphs at the end of the last season, I'll see you. He sure did and he waved back at Canada Graphs so that's a nice thing. Just. You know, I wanted to include that. And so when he asked Daniel Panabaker if she had a chance to try out the new Killer Frost outfit, she just smirked and said, you'll just have to wait and see. And so the last bit is the only notable cast that I did not see there, that Canada Graphs did not see there, was that Tom Kavanagh and Hartley Sawyer weren't there. And obviously Manu Vo, which I'm just adding in because he's a new series regular for this season. So... You know, a few people went there, but that's not a, such a big thing. I don't think Harrison Wells is going to come into fruition. Like, whoever, whatever version it is, I think it's going to happen later in the episode. And not sure why Ralph isn't there. But anyway, so let's break down this paragraph. So, he had the chance to talk to Grant. 
They talk specifically about the costumes. So yeah, once again, he confirmed that there is a chin strap slash cow. And in regards to a new suit, he says, yes, there is a new suit, but it's mostly the same though. So obviously the changes is mainly going to be the cow. The chin strap is going to be back. It's going to be a bit different. And I think it's just going to look a bit more streamlined than like the past season suits. That's obviously me theorizing. But apparently it's very similar, so I reckon it's going to keep the same colour scheme. I don't reckon there will be a load more gold on the suit. I reckon it will be pretty much the same apart from the cow and then just how the suit looks. So it's not so baggy like it was last season. And so, yeah, that's about it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any videos. So I will be at Comic Con in a few weeks time, I'll be in LA for two days, super excited, already booked my Warner Brothers Classics tour, very excited to go up to North Hollywood and actually check that out. I went last time when I was in LA for the first time, but this is sort of like the classics one, so you know, go back and have a look at where they made Casablanca and all those amazing films. So I'm very excited about my time in LA, then San Diego, once we're there I'm going to be at all the panels. Hopefully, fingers crossed, if I can get in, I'm going to be filming. I'm getting some mic recording equipment because mine is more for filming, like actual filmmaking. So it's kind of hard to connect to a camera that I obviously need to get through the airport and I can't bring anything too heavy or anything like that. So looking forward to that. So I will have panel footage for most of the panels, which is very exciting. So yeah, don't miss that. Turn on notifications if you haven't. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.